Hello everyone. Welcome to the Sneaky Hello my dear friends. We are here today because I just received a package that I've been waiting for a long long time. It comes from let me see let me see if I can read. Let's make a close-up. Customs Declaration, Declaration en Douane, Great Britain, La Grande Bretagne. Yes, sir. One kilogram, and it had a value of 43 pounds. Shipped on the 18th of May of the current year, 2020. This is kind of fun. Look, return if it's not yours. Fortunately, it is mine. <laughs> And so what's the story behind this package? What is it that we have? Well, maybe you already know since you already read the title of the video. I bought some Doncaster Rovers FC articles and brought them all the way to my country. I'm very, very, very happy because Doncaster Rovers is, well, my favorite English team. So since when and how did I become a Rovers fan? How did I become a, a, a Dunny fan? We have to go back to the year 2008, 12 years ago. Uh, it was Christmas and I had just recently got uh, my Wii, you know, the Nintendo Wii, and my FIFA 08. I'm right there um, about to play my first FIFA game. What team am I gonna choose? I don't know, I'm new to this whole FIFA thing. I just choose a random team, you know, I click here and there, and there's two teams on the home side, and that's gonna be Doncaster Rovers FC, and the other team, the team that I played against, was Botafogo from Brazil. It was just magical, it was a pretty boring game actually, since I didn't know how to play. I was able to not lose, you know, and I was able to tie nil-nil uh, that game and brought it to the penalty shots. That's where I won and how did I win? That was a stop from Neil Sullivan, my dear Neil Sullivan, the great blue monster. Sullivan from Monster Sync and his blue and Neil Sullivan had a blue shirt on that FIFA game. Yeah, that's that's how my fanatism for Doncaster Rover started and well, thank, thank God for the internet and the whole uh, network because I was able to follow a team that's on the uh, on the other side of the world now let's open this bag and let's see what's inside so what's the first thing in this package aha look at this it's a Doncaster Rovers jacket scar isn't it pretty she said well, 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 how the turntables, look at this. It's pretty nice, it's for winter. Right now I wouldn't wear it, of course, because it's freaking hot. But this is just... <sighs> oh, makes me go mad. In here, okay, this looks nice. It's a nice box, so go on top. And what's inside, it's a leather wallet. It's pretty cool, look at this, it's fancy, it has the emblem, it says Eurocheck Michael May, like Alfie May, it's in German, space for six credit cards, isn't it nice, I hope, I never use six credit cards, I don't want to be in debt, more than I already am, <laughs> Hey, this is what I've been waiting for all my life. Well, actually, since 2000, but it counts. Look what's inside. Uh huh. <sighs> Finally, my Doncaster Rovers jersey. We all love James Coppinger, don't we? Look at this. 140 year anniversary. That's special. I'm just in love. Okay, so here's another, and this is a polo shirt. Oh, let's see. Okay. If only I knew how to open it. I don't, I don't want to waste the bag. It's so pretty. 
Okay. Okay, it's been a long time since I was ready to open the bag. Thing is that here is my polar shirt. Oh hell, this is small. Well, well, well. <laughs> well, that was a surprise. Okay. Look what's in here. It's another one and this one actually looks bigger. That's what she said. This one should be my size. Okay, now I'm in love. 140 year anniversary. It's carved into the neck. And this one is my size. A little bit bigger maybe. This one and I love it. Thank you. Thank you, Doncaster, for existing. Do we have anything else in here? Yes, we do. And the last thing in the bag. It's a Doncaster Rovers Leonard. I love what I bought, and it comes from all the way in the UK. Um, I'm amazed. I love it. Now I just need to visit the Kidmont Stadium. Guys, I was gonna sing my Doncaster Rovers song right now, but I'll better do it in another video. Okay, just a little bit of context. Uh, I was playing one season with Doncaster Rovers and I went all the way up to the Barclays Premier League. and. Then I wrote a song. If you guys want to watch it, well, it's probably gonna be somewhere there, you know, with the related stuff to this video. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Doncaster Rovers. Thank you, Sports Elite. And I don't know, thank you, Mom. Thank you, Sister. Thank you, everyone. I love you. Right here.